So now we're going to do a vacuum test. We just completed the smoke test. I want to do a vacuum test now to confirm that we're in good shape here, that we don't have any strange things with, uh, with regard to valve timing because I did have to mess with the VVT and that would definitely change the vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. And we're really expecting something between 15 and 21. Usually, this is this engine has about 200,000 miles. Usually, we're going to be down around 17, but we'll see. So I'm going to start it. Kendall, just watch the uh, the vacuum gauge. looking for here one thing you want to see is that it's not dancing around because sometimes if you have real jittery like this the jittery needle you know the sticky valve leaky valve something like that this is this is exactly what I want to see now we're gonna watch it I'm gonna go ahead and rev it up and uh, we'll see and what we want to see is that it maintains maintains what it has or maybe goes up a little bit if it drops way down around here around five then we know we have other issues with the exhaust system that we need to address Thank you.